What's going on guys, I hope you're doing well. In this video, you're going to learn how to create a starburst effect in Photoshop. So it doesn't matter what kind of version of Photoshop you have, uh, this will always work. So in order to create this starburst effect, the first thing we want to do is go to File and New. And we want to create a new canvas. So for example, I'm going to use the 1280x720, which is sort of a normal thumbnail size for YouTube. Once you've done that, you want to click on the gradient tool. If you don't see this, you see the paintbook instead. So just hover over it and click on the gradient tool. And then you want to edit it in the top left hand corner. Now to change the primary and secondary colors, you want to click on the first preset here. And then you want to go ahead and double click on these little boxes and then select your primary color and do the same for the secondary color. So I've already got a preset here, so I'm going to use that. And then going to click OK. Now you want to drag the gradient tool all the way down the canvas, just like this. And this will create an even uh, gradient colour. Now once you've done that, you want to go ahead and click on the filter tab. Then you want to go to distort and click on wave. Now you want to enter these coordinates here. So you want to type in 60, uh, 100 and 101. And if it doesn't look right, you want to make sure you click on, uh, sorry, you want to make sure you've got square selected. It will default on shine, so you want to make sure you've got squared. And then you want to make sure you click in repeat edge pixels. So you basically just copy these settings and then you want to click OK. Now it should look something like this. You want to go ahead and click on filter again. You want to click on distort. And you want to click on polar coordinates. And then you want to make sure it's reg uh, rectangular to polar. And then just click OK. And then here you will create your starburst effects. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like and pass it on to someone who you may find it helpful as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more useful videos like this and thank you for watching.